Welcome to the award-winning high school sports extra presented by Scheller Automotive. Thanks for tuning in. That's Brian Milam. I'm Dan Reefer. It's round two of the playoffs, and they're different this year. Every game across the state tonight is to decide district champs. That's right. Then the four teams remaining in each, the top and bottom half of the brackets, are reseeded according to the RPI rankings. Got it? Good. Let's get going. Here are the highlights presented by C2G Environmental. It's Douglas and Scott County. Scott County looking to avenge its first shutout loss in 18 years, which came courtesy of the Broncos during the regular season. Cardinals down 10-0 in the second quarter. Cade McKee calls his own number. It's a race to the front corner of the end zone, and Cade McKee is in. Scott County's on the board. Down 10-7. Douglas had the answer. Josh McClure with the pass to Devin Neal. Look at this kid right here. On the left side, he reverses field when he can't find room over there. Difference maker tonight was Devin Neal. 17-7 there, Broncos. Douglas added one final score in the fourth. Guess who? Neal. Neal finding the edge and going in for six more. Douglas holds on to win 24-14 thanks to an outstanding performance on defense. Defense always shows up, you know what I mean? And they don't have an answer for number five, and that kid's a difference maker, you know? In big ball games, you gotta think players, not plays. And at the end there, I told him, I said, look, just feed five, and he'll he'll win this thing for us. So if I put him up, put us on his back, and then our defense, man, I mean, shoot, 14 points in two games, that's, a, that's pretty good against these guys. Well-coached team, a lot of credit to them, they played well. Uh, but, you know, us against the team up north, I think the tides have turned a little bit. Madison Southern East Jessamine in the same lower half of the 5A bracket. Tobias Storm lets it go. Ooh. Jonah Farnstrom brings it in. That is a touchdown, Southern. These two went back and forth all night. Southern, then East. Southern, then East. How about East? Valdon Miles coming right into your living room. Who loves you, kid? Who loves you? Me? Yeah, I got you. Oh, gave the touchdown. Thing. But trailing 24-21. East Jess fumbles on fourth and inches. Oh. Dawson Gabbard recovers. Southern back in a region final, 24-21. I mean, the program is in the right place. It's just, you know, we're a small, we're not a great big community. Sometimes we're going to have up and down years, but we're, I mean, I think at this point now, I think we'll have four district championships in five years, a couple of regions now. Like, I think people need to start thinking we're, we're a 5A contender. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they deserve every bit of it. This is a great group. They've, they've let us coach them through everything this year. They just want to get better, and that's what makes it work. They'll find out what kind of contender they are. They go to Cubcat next. Douglas will host the winner here, Southwestern to Whitley County. Second half, Whitley up 15-6. Colonels continuing their solid defensive play, but no. It is Tanner Wright getting into the end zone. And then again, trailing 15-14. Here's Wright again to take a 21-15 lead. And that's it. That's the final Southwestern. Goes to Douglas next Friday. Wow. Let's go to 6A. Dunbar and Tates Creek. The home team driving on its first possession. Matthew Underwood takes the handoff. Goes straight up the middle for the touchdown. 7-0 Commodores, same score, second quarter. Dunbar responds with a touchdown. That would be Mitchell Joseph. The extra point was blocked. This is a tight game start to finish. Tates Creek wins it. 37-29 will host Simon Kenton next Friday. Hey. Oldham County at Clark County at 6A. The Cards won the regular season meeting by two points first quarter. After a Colonel's goal line stand, it's Sam Young hitting Tyler Holby in stride. That's a 56-yard touchdown to give Oldham County the early 7-0 lead. Clark County answers with their back. One of the state's top leading rushers, Azariah Israel. He finds a hole. He go. go. <laughs> 42 yards to tie this game up at 7 apiece, but Oldham County led 14-7 at the half. Mm. Goes on to win 35-21. All right, here's another game that went right down to the wire during the regular season. Yep. LCA beat Somerset 35-34 in mid-October. LCA top-ranked team in 2A's RPI. So should the Eagles keep advancing, all of their games will be at home until the state championships at Kroger Field. And that's just a couple of miles down the road. So, yeah, why not? Would we have another thriller from these two tonight? We pick things up nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Jaden Barnhart, the strike to Diaria Smith. LCA cuts the Somerset lead 22-20, but under four to play. The jumpers extend the lead. Kaya Sharon, Cade Grundy, what a grab. 
Somerset in front, 28-20. LCA would strike back to cut the lead to two, but they cannot convert the two-point conversion time. Winding down, Tate Madden seals the game with an interception. Moose Swearingen's defense comes through. 28-26, they will host Owensboro Catholic or McLean County. I'm pretty sure. Made it a lot harder than we had to miss an EP that cost us there late. Made it a lot more exciting. You got to give LCA credit. Uh, great coaching, great athletes, it's a great team. It's a shame that I think props to the one top two or three teams have to play each other in the second round. Uh, this is incredible. Our defense stepped up huge. Can't get the gone better. I think we had three turnovers. I kind of sold at the end, but it's no biggie. Our defense stepped up. They will actually host McLean County. McLean County beat Owensboro Catholic 37-36 tonight. Now, top team in Class 4A RPI, Boyle battling Lexington Catholic. Oh, it wasn't good for the Knights. Good night for the Rebels, though. Reed Lander to Reese Smith, nine yards. It's 7-0 Rebels. After a Bo Allen fumble, Will McDaniel a two-yard score. It's 14-0 Rebels in the first. Allen fumbled four times tonight. Mm. Boyle made him pay each time. Lanter to Cole Lanter. It's a family tradition. <laughs> Boyle County rolls oh, onto my. the Elite Eight, 54-7. The Rebs will host Covington Scott next Friday. All right, Franklin County has a real shot at making it to Kroger Field. I mean, the Flyers have the top RPI in their top half of the bracket. Yeah, there. and thanks to a two-point win over Central in Louisville last month, you'll remember that was a Hail Mary involved in that one. Rematch at Woodford County due to the poor field conditions at Franklin County. The Flyers' Jaden Madison calls his own number, fights his way into the end zone. 7-0 Flyers, then Madison to Tariq Lester. He'll make the catch, but there is a... Bumble right there. Jeremiah Thornton recovers for the Jackets. Central makes it count. Deshaun Mucker up the gut. Jackets lead 7-6 and Central pulls away and they win a tough one. 18-7. We finish up in 3A Rock Castle County on Log Mountain to meet Dudley Hilton's Bell County Bobcats and London Stephanie for the Bobcats keeps it and he's going to find the end zone. Two things here. He thinks it's an easy walk in and he winds up getting pulled down in a weird way but he gets back up. The second thing holding no oh, touchdown no, <laughs> so bell county now facing fourth and eight in the same drive stephanie lets it fly a dime to jason jones all bobcats tonight 39 nothing bell county will host fleming county next friday all right we got the plays of the week athlete of the week next stick around